It's, um, it's still unbelievable what's happened to us as a family. We um, miss him so much. Every day getting to his anniversary is hard. People still come up to you and say how sorry they are and say about not having justice yet. It's lovely that people are around us and they're saying about us being um, strong, but we're not. People don't see how we are because it really hurts. We've got a black hole that will never be filled up again. It's, it's, it's five years, but it still feels like yesterday. And, and not having the justice as well for him, it's even more of the pain because this person's walking around, breathing the same air as us. I say it every time. They've got no morals. They've obviously they haven't because they would have handed themselves in. It's a ripple effect, and every one of the family hurts because he was so well loved and well liked by others. Mm. So as we get nearer the time, um, sometimes I just want to curl up in the corner and just not be around here, you know. That feeling that we're getting now is, is it's like um, a pain in your chest constantly and uh, it takes your breath away and it gets worse and worse as the days go on leading up to the day, you know, he was murdered. I'm not going to say that he passed away because he didn't. He was murdered, he was killed. Cold-blooded murder. Police doing it as much as they can and we know that but they can only do so, go so far. This is why we're doing this, is because that person who's murdered him needs to just now save the time. Mm. If he could feel our pain, yeah. that would be our justice, wouldn't it? Because that pain is torture. Yeah. It is. Yeah. We wouldn't go back to where it happened because he wouldn't want us to go there all the time and to have that visual. And my mum and dad were there on the night. They saw everything and they couldn't get past that police cordon. It is devastating because we know what those that family is going through. It just makes us feel so sad and, uh, you know, think, why? Why is this happening to decent people? You know, it's... Um, it's not all, like, gang rivalry anymore, is it? It's no. frightening. It's frightening for the kids, what they're growing up in now, to be honest mm. with you, isn't it? It, mm. used to, it? You just think it's not gang related, it's... You're in about innocent people now, aren't you? And yeah. it's frightening. I mean, the other week my mum met Eva White's mum for the first time and oh my, that was just heart bloody breaking it. We went to do a knife crime talk at the college, I'd never been one before. And then um, you got introduced and watching another mum hug another mum of a knife crime victim is just the most horrendous thing you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. So I say it's education, that's what we have to do. And, and we'll do it, we'll always do it in Adam's memory and keep his legacy alive, as well as the grieving process we're going through is letting people know that there's no justice. We've, we haven't got justice. I'd say know where your kids are. Yeah, oh, yeah that's an important one. Know where your kids yeah. are. Have a, have a time that your kids have to be in. Mm. Check your kids' pockets because you can't think your kid's innocent, mm. but they might be getting led astray. I always say to mine, use this, use your initiative. If you think something feels wrong, you move away. And that's stuck with them because I constantly say it to them. I would say, come forward. You, you're going to live with this for the rest of your life. You need to face your punishment. If you, if when you get in prison, your mum. Your family will be able to visit you. I will. I'll never see my son again. You've killed a part of all of us. Yeah. Mm. You need now to give us some. You need to give us some peace to grieve. Yeah. Because this is bloody hard. This is five years, and I don't feel like I've grieved me brother properly. So what you need to do is just give yourself in and save your time. And I wouldn't put anybody through what we saw that night. Um. Yeah, it'll just be gone. But um left a big hole in our hearts, all of us. Mm.
unappealing to anybody today that if you know any information of Adam to give us some peace and to grieve to ple please 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 come forward and give any information just to help us get justice and help us as a family be able to grieve it's five years now and it's it's torture <laughs>